We all know that women want to have as much attention as possible. But what if you could flip this and make her crave your attention? You see, women like men who other women like and give attention to. Which means that if you get perceived as attractive by a handful of women, it spreads like a chain reaction. More and more self-improvement videos get released on topics like this every day. Thus, more people try to achieve a serious glow up and become more attractive. Which means that competition and standards increase. Here are important habits that you can still do today to make women crave your attention. Habit number one one, never stress. When women see a man who stresses over the smallest things and complains about everything, they instantly think of him as unattractive. Men are problem solvers, which women aren't. How do you expect to fit into a woman's life if you cry about everything and can't help her? The higher your stress tolerance is, the more successful you become in life, and the more women want you. Complaining is childish, leads to a weak presence, and makes you vulnerable. No woman wants a weak man. But of course, that's easier said than done. The easiest way to reduce stress is by saying no more often and working more efficiently to get things out of the way. Eliminate distractions and follow a clear daily schedule. Have a clear and organized workspace and take short breaks to avoid burnout and increase productivity. Habit number two, be humble. There's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Confident men are self-assured. Arrogant men brag with an exaggerated sense of self-worth. Why do they do this? Because they're insecure, and they want to make you feel insecure too. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't wear fine suits or buy yourself an expensive car. Because that's just a high life standard. Bragging really means trying to get into the center of attention by totally exaggerating your life and accomplishments. Studies show that women find men who speak less more attractive than men who talk a lot. Choose your words wisely. Think before you speak and never brag. Don't appear self-absorbed and insecure. You're impressing no one. Habit number three, never blame. Nobody likes a man who constantly blames his problems on someone else. You'll make mistakes, we all do, but own up to them and learn from them. Passing the blame to someone else is like giving up the responsibility for your actions. And this is like giving away your man card. Do you really want this? Men, especially attractive men, only point the finger of blame when justified. Blaming others is nothing more than excusing yourself. And an attractive man stands to his mistakes and fixes whatever he can. Habit number four, live with purpose. Our sole purpose in life is not to pursue women. Too many guys put women on pedestals then wonder why they're striking out and constantly getting friend zone or not getting any dates at all. This type of man becomes an overbearing, jealous and creepy stalker and no woman wants that. Women want a man with purpose, an attractive man, has a woman in his life because she enhances him, but she's not the basis of his existence. Women are biologically attracted to men who achieve great things in life because they're the ones who will be the best providers and fathers. A man who is in charge of himself and his world shows authority and decisiveness, and he takes the lead, and women respect this. But a man who constantly defers to a woman to please and appease her is useless and gets rejected time and time again. No matter how good looking he is, or how much money he makes. Your priority in life should be to find your purpose, something that lights you up and gives you a sense of fulfillment. By the way, I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Edenic Studios. I'm personally a big fan of jewelry as it lets your outfit appear less empty, makes you appear more stylish, and sets you apart from other people. Edenic Studios offers you chains, rings, and bracelets, which are made under high quality standards to make your outfit look perfect. And what's even better is that they currently offer you a 40% discount on all of their products. Go check them out. I put a link in the description for you. Habit number five, be a leader. As briefly said earlier, leaders are people with status who are respected by everyone. They have outstanding talking skills, strong body language, and are determined in decision making. For this, you need to socialize and be an active person. A good way to become a leader is by opening up a business to make more money. In sales, for example, you need all the skills of a leader, speaking, body language, and decision making. Surround yourself with more people and you'll see how much your talking skills improve. Improve your decision making by reading books and articles on stoicism to keep your emotions under control. An attractive man is a leader, not a follower. I'm not asking you to avoid being a part of a group. This should be an important part of your life. But don't do things just because everyone else does. Do something because it's in line with your values. An independent man, one who could be by himself and has unique interests, projects and experiences, is far more interesting and driven than an average male. He's exciting and inspires curiosity, and women love this. You'll never be an attractive man if you blindly follow fashion trends, pop culture, social media, and what your parents told you was the right thing to do. You become an attractive man by setting standards for yourself and reaching them, and by finding things that develop your character and bring joy to your life. Take control of your life and forge your own path. 